So the table saw and the chop saw was set up outside, so I cut some my landing blocks. Got them ready. To be, I'm gonna go ahead and primer them up. And I went ahead and I cut my legs. So I'm gonna be adding some other stuff to it. These are just old treated two befores that was real short that I had laying around. I try to use as much salvage lumber as I can. I didn't have nothing big enough and I didn't have the means of screwing two befores and stuff together to make one this big yet. But it is on the way. So uh, I bought a finger cutting jig so I can cut two befores and put together. So I got them cut and we'll get them cleaned up and get them ready to prime. Hopefully we can start getting some more stuff done uh, when I get the plywood cut in two. I'll get the plywood cut in two in the next couple of days and we can uh, start building our building our box top for the bee box. So this is my uh, setup to cut plywood. I'll be cutting plywood for my bee box tops and bottoms here shortly. I'm going to rip it down so it's easier to maneuver on the table saw once I get once I get it cut down to size or a little workable pieces I will move it over to the table saw to rip it the rest of the way now I pulled out one of my old old squares that I got from my dad and my new square the Swanson and I wanted to double check make sure they're still true and they both are spot on right down the side of each other so i can use either one to make my mark so uh, at least i know my squares are still true i uh, got my mark on a straight edge and we'll use it to get this as straight as possible and uh it's not the best one in the world but it's what i got for right now until i make a better one I got strips left. Now, that's what happens when you don't measure twice and cut once. You, luckily, I got a good piece out of it. I think I got spares piece of plywood to get the little strips I need to be able to work with but at least I got the major part of it done I'm trying to thin this down so it'll fit my table saw and I can put an elbow on it and just that way the sawdust blows straight down
it's twisted, crooked, and from just, I don't know, see how it's sticking over here, bowed in, and it's bowed way out down here. And every time you touch it, it makes it worse. So, I'm going to put some glue on this, and uh, i got to pick out which side looks better. This one's got some really big pits in it, so I'm going to try to keep the best side up. So that's got one. This looks like the better side. I can probably fill that in with a little glue or something. Maybe, maybe break out some silicone and fill that in. That way it'll paint smooth and there ain't no place holding water. Even though it's painted, I don't want water standing anywhere. So this is the side I'll probably work with. Go back to my handy dandy drill bits. So I'm gonna go with a number eight. No, actually a number six. And Looks like about the right length and everything. What I'm going to do Again, I'm using treated screws. Any project that is outside always gets treated screws. I'm going to go about there. I'm going to put the screws to it to just keep it straight and true.
I'm going to keep all the sawdust and all the stuff that come off my drill bit that I can that come up through here or that I had up through here to fill this in. It's a little bit grabbing already, but I'm going to have to flip it over. In fact, I might run some of that right over in that and rub it in real quick. Just one way of filling up a gap. A little glue and sawdust to go a long way. Seems like that sawdust will soak up the glue a lot quicker and dry faster than in other positions. I don't know. Only thing I know to explain it because it gets tacky and sticky quick. I'll be able to fill in them holes easy enough. And another little tip and trick. So this is the top of my horizontal hive because I just finished it up and uh, if you have any questions about it feel free to ask if you got a comment let me know in the comment section hope you're doing something you enjoy I really enjoy woodworking and a lot of other things but I always usually every day I try to do something I enjoy so thank you for watching and uh We'll see you on the next one.